Hey, what's going on everybody? So, uh, this video is for people uh, like me <laughs> who are super picky about their mouth sensitivity and first person shooters and trying to sort of keep that consistent uh, across all the different games they play. And uh, I think for Halo Infinite, I found a pretty good way of getting to whatever your number is uh, pretty quickly and easily. Um, for me personally, I use a 27 centimeter uh, per 360 degree turn on the mouse uh, for all my games or try to get to as close to that as I possibly can. Um, so again, this video is more about how to get to your number. This is in a, a, a video on like what the best sensitivity is. It's sort of personal preference, whether it's 15 centimeters or 30 centimeters. Um, this is more about how to whatever your number is trying to get there uh, as easily as possible in this game. So uh, the way I figured out how to do this. Um, in the settings, uh, looking at the mouse settings for this game, they have sort of three different things you can play around with. You have your base sensitivity, and then they give you sort of a multiplier to that on the vertical and horizontal axis. So what I ended up with was a 3.7 base sensitivity and then 0.5 multipliers on both horizontal and vertical. And that gives me basically a perfect 27 centimeter uh, sensitivity for a 360 degree turn. Um, I'm using 800 DPI on my mouse, so if you're using a different DPI, that's going to be a different uh, number. But um, originally, uh, I was trying to do this and kind of pulling my hair out. Uh, I could get to like 26 and a half centimeters or 27 and a half centimeters or 28 or 26. Uh, and I really was just trying to like brute force it where I like I was like all right I started at one base sensitivity and then I would play with the multipliers and then I went to 1.1 and then played around the multipliers trying to get to 27 and I'd get close but I couldn't quite get there and eventually I was just like this is stupid so uh, I came up with I think a much better solution to this uh, which is sort of straightforward and you don't have to you know do a whole bunch of testing trying to get whatever your number is uh, and what I did was I created a spreadsheet uh, using these two, uh, or three, I guess, sensitivity adjustments. Um, so mouse, mouse sensitivity or base sensitivity goes from 0.1 to 10, and then the, the multiplier goes from 0.1 to 2. So I put that in a spreadsheet. Uh, let's see. And created a column for the multiplier from 0.1 to 2. And then I created row for 0.1 all the way to 10. And then I sort of multiplied all of these combinations together to sort of get a numerical representation of each sensitivity combination. So uh, originally when I was, again, like trying to brute force this, uh, the closest I got to was I had what... Um, I had 2.3 base sensitivity and I had a 0.8 multiplier. And that got me like a 27 and a half centimeter or some, something like that uh, sensitivity. So I went in after I made this table, I looked, I was like, okay, well, what's the number for that sensitivity? So I went 0.8 on the row, uh, the row and then found the um, 2.3 column and I got a number of 1.84. So because that was a little, um, I needed it to be a little bit more sensitive to get to that exact 27 centimeters because I was at like 27.5 or something like that. Um, I said, okay, well, what number represents uh, 1.85? So I, in the sheet, um, I looked up 1.85, oops, 1.85, um, that's 11.85. So here we go. So 1.85. So that's a combination of a 3.7 base and a um, 0.5 multiplier. So I put that in, and sure enough, I got an exact um, 27 centimeter sensitivity in the game. Um, and I guess the way I do this, uh, if you're curious, um, let's see if we go back to the game. So the way I do this, actually, um, I can go to the webcam so you can see this a little better. I like basically I just I have two pieces of paper that I cut out, uh, and they're both 27 centimeters long. And basically every new game 
I do this. Every new game, I um, put them out on my mouse pad, and I try and like go into a, a lobby or something where I can mess around. Uh, and I have two of them, so I have one for the bottom of the mouse and one for the top of the mouse. And then um, I basically line up the edge of one side with the middle of both the top and the bottom mouse, and then um, just go 27 centimeters uh, to the edge of their edge and then line it up um, again with the middle of the top and bottom of the mouse. So in game, I would basically, what it would look like, I try and find something where there's like a vertical um, vertical line on the wall or something. So I again, I would line up that piece of paper uh, on one end and then ideally once you do your 27 degrees with your mouse you end up right back at that same spot so again uh, I was doing that sort of I would you know adjust the settings and then turn like oh I ended here that's not that's not the right sensitivity then I change the adjust the settings and I turn and I'd end up like over here I'm like oh okay I got to change it again kept doing that uh, once I did this sort of table thing and put in that three point um, seven and point five, I did my turn and it, it landed exactly at twenty seven. So my recommendation, I have that spreadsheet. Uh, I, it's a Google sheet. I can leave a link to that sheet in the comments if you want to use it. Uh, otherwise, um, you can make your own. Just create a two a column and a rows of the two um, sensitivities and then just multiply them you know across and that'll give you your numbers uh so yeah the, uh, the way i would recommend using it is if your sensitivity that you like to use is like 30 centimeters just try and find something that gets you close and then whatever that is so say it's um you know like 2.5 with a 0.7 uh, multiplier that gets you really close to 30 centimeters go into that sheet um, see what the the number of that is so I don't say it's right here 1.21 you know find that find what 1.22 is or 1.23 is or 1.20 or 1.19 and then um, use those values and it should get you um, really right where you want it to eventually after if you play around with a couple different combinations um i did test it too so uh, obviously there's going to be a couple duplicates so like for example um what was it the one i was looking at to test this was uh 3.7 and um 0.4 that sensitivity that's a value here on the table of 1.48 so there's another value if you search 1.48 uh, whoops, 1.48. Uh, here, so you could also do a, a 7.4 and a 0.2. That would give you the exact same sensitivity. So whether you do 3.7 and 0.4 or 7.4 and 0.2, uh, I sort of tested that, and it's the exact same sensitivity in game. So, I mean, I don't think there's a benefit of doing one or the other, but just to sort of test that, um, I guess the math works. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, I know it helped me because I, I spent like 20 minutes trying to get exactly 27 centimeters and I couldn't find the right combination. Uh, and then I did this in literally the first try of going from 1.84 to 1.85 on, on this table, uh, seeing what the corresponding uh, sensitivities were. Got me exactly uh, 27 uh, centimeters. So um, other things, just real quick. Um, I know in some games the field of view will affect your mouse sensitivity, so you can use that. Um, but in this game, it doesn't seem like the field of view setting affects your mouse sensitivity at all. Um, every once in a while, a game you can play around with that, where if like you adjust this field of view down, it'll also adjust your sensitivity, so you can use that as sort of a trick. Um, but anyways, with this game, it doesn't seem to affect it. I had my frame field of view at like 70, and then I jumped it up to 110 and the sensitivity was the same um just fyi <laughs> uh the other thing too is there is a um mouse uh acceleration setting so make sure you have that checked off uh you don't have that checked otherwise you're gonna have super inconsistent uh sensitivity while you're playing too uh but yeah so 
that's uh, that's the gist. Um, hopefully, yeah, that helps you uh, get to whatever your sensitivity is. Um, like I said, it saved me a bunch of time once I figured out how to do it that way. Um, yeah, I'll leave that sheet, uh, a link to it in the uh, comments. It's just a Google sheet if you want to use it. And that's all I got. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.